Sydney Zamora, the producer of Locals Live, and I'm here tonight in Benton Hall with Divine. Hello, ladies. Hi. Would we like to... <laughs> How about we start with the introductions? All right. I'm Shivala Kazam. I'm the secretary of Divine. I'm Aubrey Loden, and I'm the president of Divine. And what year and major are you guys? I am in my last year, sort of. I'm probably never going to graduate, but in chemical engineering. <laughs> I am a senior in public health. Would you say a lot of um, a lot of the girls in Divine have different genres that they like, or is there a lot of people with like similar genres in there? Or I think it's a whole different mm -hmm. flavor pot of genres of musical tastes. Mm -hmm. um, well, Sarah really likes country. Yeah, so we have usually <laughs> in auditions we get a whole um, like um, diverse. Mm -hmm. We get people auditioning with like musical theater songs and wow. screamo. And rap <laughs> and country and, and ballet and it's great. It's yeah. just crazy. <laughs> We're really, really talented. So. Right. What genre do you guys mostly like focus on for performances, or mm. is there any? Is it just kind of changes each time, or does it just depend on what kind of show it is? Mm -hmm. I think it depends on what kind of show it is, but Divine really tries to focus on female empowerment songs, mm -hmm. like songs that come from female writers, mm -hmm. female pop stars, female mm -hmm. like celebrities. I love that. I yeah, mean. and like really, we try to stay away from like degrading lyrics and like mm -hmm. strong lyrics and we have girls from all ages coming to watch us, so we really like to be a like a forefront and something to look up to. Mm -hmm. So that's how we kind of choose our songs. So would you say that's kind of divine's, how would you say, like not motto, but kind of ideals is yeah. for like female empowerment? Yeah, definitely. absolutely. I love that. <laughs> I, I'm for it, so <laughs> that's cool. So what inspired each of you to join Divine? So for me, I did a lot of music in high school. I was actually in a female acapella group, and I really enjoyed that. So, um, but coming to college, I you know, did engineering, so I, don't have, I didn't have really a creative outlet in that. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I love my major, but it's not the same, I guess. So Divine right. is really that outlet for me to kind of embrace my musical side. Mm -hmm. Um, I came from Los Angeles, so like... So did I. Yeah, I really <laughs> So, um, I'm sure you know, like, music is a big deal there. Right. And, um, I got pretty snobby, and I was like, <laughs> oh, there's definitely going to be a musical, like, program here. Like, musical theater program. Right. Say. And there was nothing. Mm -hmm. And I got here, and I was like, oh, my heart. <laughs> I was so heartbroken, and so I went online, and I was like, okay, what are some chorus groups they have on mm -hmm. campus? And I saw Bella Voce, and um, I personally could not wear the dresses that they wear. And then I found Divine. <laughs> and so I was like, okay, let's give this a shot. And it was the best choice I ever made in college. Absolutely, hands down. It's more than like a singing group. It's like your hub of friends. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. And it's really nice to have a group that isn't like all my friends outside of Divine or like in engineering or like in the honors college. Mm -hmm. So it's nice to have just like a group of really diverse individuals coming together just to make something beautiful together. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm really curious. How do you guys pick your songs? What? Well, <laughs> <laughs> so um, we always take suggestions from mm -hmm. our members. Okay. As we said before, we have like a diverse array of members and different mm -hmm. tastes. So usually we get um, suggestions from them, from them, and we go from there. We we kind of vote on it. We kind of mm -hmm. see like what we need more of. Like if mm -hmm. we need more like peppier songs or slower songs. Right. Or yeah, and it also depends on the gig too. Sometimes we'll learn new songs specifically for gigs. As well. That's awesome. How do you guys come? How do you guys achieve that cohesive sound that Divine has? Practice. Yeah. Lots of practice. <laughs> yeah. We, we have around nine hours a week. Wow. Yeah, because it's competition season. We're trying to really get to competition mm -hmm. and do well. So we practice Tuesdays, Thursdays, and sometimes Sundays. Wow. So it's a lot of work. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of dedication. Mm -hmm. But we have girls who really want to be here. Right. And they share the same goals and like visions we do, so it's easy and it's fun. And just communicating with each other, letting you know everyone know like this is what I heard. Maybe this should change. Things right. Like that. That's awesome. So, do you guys know any history of Divine? Divine started in two thousand three under director Tina Bull, mm -hmm. and within about like a year, it became OSU's. 
premier female acapella group. Wow, they yeah. did a lot of work in that year. So much work, crazy work. And um, yeah, ever since then, we've been like growing, trying to get our name out there. Trying and to get shout, out, like us. shout out to Alyssa Dart, who arranges a lot of Divine's music, and she was one of our founding members. And she yeah. still is to this wow. day arranging music for us. And she'll like drive down from just Portland. To, yeah, just to work with us. And she's yeah, that's so sweet. Yeah, yeah so that's nice. that's a lot of like the basis of divine is kind of that yeah. like she just believes in this group so much and believes in us and it shows like her actions speak for themselves. So what does music mean to both of you? Since I mean it's a big, big part of divine, mm -hmm. a big part of why you're here today. I think for me, it's just a really great way to connect with people. Um, it's. I mean, we sing words, but music is something more than that. And when you're singing with a group, you just you just get these feelings for these people. And I think that's why we're so close. It's just, you can't really help it. Mm -hmm. um, so that's what I've always liked. I always like singing with people, um, whether it's choir or acapella, just because you get this connection that you don't really find anywhere else. I can't talk that answer. <laughs> <laughs> that's perfect. That's exactly how I feel about yeah. it too. Like, I don't know where I'd be without it. Right. So that's very special and mm -hmm. a very hard thing to find. And I, I'm very curious on what is your guys' favorite song that you've, you've done in Divine and performance. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. I think one of my favorites is one of our ICCA songs from last year called Invincible by Kelly Clarkson. And it's just, <laughs> it just means a lot of things to everyone in the group. And, you know, we had a lot of experiences last year that brought us really close together. And I feel like that song, whenever we sing it, it's kind of like reminds me like forget about all the things that went wrong or didn't work out or whatever and just focus on what you have right now because it's very powerful. It's awesome. I would have to say mine would be Titanium. Mm -hmm. It's one of our hardest arrangements that we have. Yeah, it must be. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of a techno-y song. So um, I think it's one of our hardest ones to sing but and learn. Mm -hmm. But like if you, we have past recordings of it from past groups and it's just like wow. It's mm -hmm. so empowering, like, mm -hmm. shoot me down, but I won't fall, you know? Mm -hmm. It's one of my favorites. Awesome. And what and would you say is your favorite venue that you've done or performance? I have one. Go for it. <laughs> it's, okay, we had an acapella, um, it was like a, a whole bunch of acapella groups came together at LBCC. Okay. And it was um, just a fun night of acapella mm -hmm. and it was back in 2014 <laughs> and I remember way this back. yeah <laughs> way back. um but we sang it was like one of my first times really singing with the group and I had like girls from you know middle school up to like high school come up to me and want pictures with me mm -hmm. and That's want my so autograph sweet. and they were like wow I can't believe you sang that <laughs> song and it was so good <sighs> I just felt famous <laughs> I felt so <laughs> appreciated <laughs> it was amazing it was amazing, and Divine gets that, you know, pretty regularly. So it's mm -hmm. it's important that we keep up, you know, strong lyrics and strong like female empowerment yeah. goals mm -hmm. and stuff. So I would say my favorite performances are probably the Friday shows that we do every Friday at <laughs> 5 p.m. in the MU. Um, <laughs> but I just <laughs> I just remember when I first came to OSU and I like went to my first Friday show and I saw Divine perform and I was like. How do I do that? How do I get all those steps? Like I really, it was just blew my mind. And to the like to this day, like we don't necessarily take them super seriously because they're pretty casual. But I still always look forward to them. And they're free. <laughs> and they're free. So you should come. <laughs> Thank you so much, ladies, for having me here today. It was amazing. Thank you. Thanks for coming. <laughs>